Okay folks, so this is a really, really short basic tutorial on how to get a uh, custom typeface or font off of a website called Da Font and get it installed on your Mac and then we'll be able to use it through Photoshop, Word, anything like that. So I'm going to go through and type this in, dafont.com in my Safari. And the website looks like this. And uh, if you're in my class, I'm probably going to assign you a certain theme or something just uh, so you have to do like a little bit of a scavenger hunt to try to find something. But um, I might assign something like, uh, it's got to be scary. So I'll see. Maybe I'll look through here. you got categories up here. Horror looks good. And then I like this kind of cheesy, like late 60s, 1970s bloody font here. I'm going to click download. You gotta make sure that it says free over on the side here. Okay, and you see the download appears up here when it's a, it's a small file, so it downloads pretty quick. Then click on this magnifying glass. Okay, and then all I gotta do within the finder is just double click on this, the TTF file, and it brings it up inside of the uh, Apple Font Manager, and I click install font. Okay, and now you can see in our font book, double feature is visible. Okay, now that's all you gotta do to install it. Now I'll open up Photoshop, and if you had Photoshop open already, you might need to quit out of it and then relaunch it, because uh, sometimes it, the font won't just appear there. Let's make a new document. Okay, and I'll go in with my type tool. Select to type something. This is so scary. I'm just gonna make that a little bit smaller. Okay, small enough. And now, um, with my font selected, I can go up to this little menu here while I'm still on the type tool, and I can drag down to the, the font, what was it called, double feature. This is roughly alphabetized. Sometimes it's sort of categorized and alphabetized. Select my font while it's highlighted, and I have to make it a little bit smaller, resize my box here, and it is good. Yeah, uh, I want to adjust that height on that right now. Set that to auto. Okay, so that is how to get a font off of the Defont website and installed into uh, a Mac, and then how to load it up into Photoshop. Thanks for watching.